inductor is a very important equipment in the electrical industry it plays a very important part in electronic industry and as well as in the power system so if you want to know the details about the inductor how it stores energy why inductor is always in the form of coil and what are the factors that affect inductance watch the video In the previous videos we have seen the details about the practical construction of a capacitor how capacitor stores energy and how capacitor keeps the voltage constant so if you are interested uh, in knowing the detail of this uh, you can find the link for this down in the description okay so let's get started so whenever current passes through a conductor it creates some field around it right and that field is called as magnetic field and this effect of creating the field is called as electromagnetism right and inductor are the devices which are developed to take the advantage of this phenomena that is electromagnetism now this field or the magnetic field has two main parameters that is field force and field flux field force is the push required to move electron from one place to another field flux is the effect of field or simply you can call field force as a voltage it is nothing but voltage and field flux it is a current right so these are the two main parameter that any field have whether it is electrical field or it is magnetic field so inductors are the devices which are specially designed to take uh, the advantage of this phenomena right that is electromagnetism so how inductor stores energy inductor simply stores the energy in the form of magnetic field or you can call it as a flux right so whenever current passes through a conductor a magnetic field will be created right and that will be stored by this inductor so that uh, you can have some energy storage right now the question is why inductor is always in the form of coil right so we are, we will answer this question Uh, now we will see that let us say i am having a conductor and i am passing a current through it so this single conductor will create its own magnetic field right but this field is not sufficient and i want more field with the same amount of current right so what i did i just simply make made uh, some turn of that conductor so now what happened the every turn creates its own magnetic field right and all these magnetic field will add up and it will give me more magnetic field and this is the reason why inductors are always in the form of coil because it will create more magnetic field and more magnetic field means more energy storage right so these are the some basic sim uh, symbols of the inductor uh, the first one shows the a uh, generic or the air coil which has nothing inside it and the second one shows the iron core many of the times inductors are they are wound on the iron core now why the inductors are wound on the iron core we are going to answer uh, this question very soon but before that we need to know this whenever uh, we apply voltage across uh, the inductor or whenever we passes current through an in inductor the magnetic field will create around it right so the simple logic is if you want to store more energy if you want to create more field what you have to do yes you have to increase the current so that means more current will equal to more magnetic field and that will equal to more energy storage this is the simple funda right there is one more uh, way uh, by which you can create more energy or you can strengthen your magnetic field and what is that way you can see we have a coil and this coil created the magnetic field shown by the white dotted line right but i want more magnetic field with this coil so what i will do i will just insert a iron core or a ferromagnetic material in the coil or i will simply wound that coil uh, on the ferromagnetic material right and what this ferromagnetic material will do it will strengthen the magnetic field here you can see the stronger magnetic field we will get uh, through the same amount of current which were in the first case right 
so this is the reason most of the time inductors are wound on the ferromagnetic material like soft iron now the question is what is ferromagnetic material so you will have the simplest definition here the materials which can be magnetized and demagnetized easily is called as ferromagnetic material and soft iron is one of the example right we can create a simple electromagnetic using a soft iron and we can easily demagnetize it so it is nothing but a ferromagnetic material right so this is the reason why uh, most of the time inductors are wound on a iron core now the measure of an inductor's ability to store energy for a given amount of current flow is called as inductor simple this is clear right so inductor is generally denoted by letter l and it is measured in henry which is denoted by letter h and inductor you don't have to get confused here inductor is also called as choke and it is also called as reactor choke is the concept uh, which mainly comes under the electronic industry and reactor is the concept which mainly comes uh, under the power system right so if you have a basic idea about the inductor you are going to have the idea about this uh, type of uh, equipments also so this is why the basics are important now let's see what are the factor that affects the inductance number 1 is a number of turns of course more number of turn will give you more inductance and less number of turns will give you less inductance second is oh sorry that number is actually second second is coil area uh, you will get more inductance with uh, bigger area and lesser inductance with lesser area then third is coil length uh, here is a bit op opposite with the more length you will get less inductance and with the smaller length you will get more inductance fourth one is core material so less inductance with the air core uh, which has the permeability of 1 and uh, more inductance if you use a soft iron core uh, in your inductance these are the main four parameters which affects the inductance and these are uh, these are the main parameters that you should know now we will see what will happen if we connect two different inductors in series so when you connect uh, two different inductors in series uh, what you will get is this l1 plus l2 so the summary is uh, inductor will add up in the series and now what will happen if you connect these two inductors in parallel so you will get this so the tag line is you will get or you will find your inductor is diminishing in parallel right so now we will see the summary of what we have seen up till now whenever current passes through a conductor it creates a magnetic field around it this effect is called as electromagnetism coil shape provides more magnetic field and hence inductors are available in coil shape iron core helps field to become more stronger without changing the amount of current flowing through conductor number of turns coil area coil length and coil material affects the inductance inductance adds in series and diminution parallel right now the interesting part about the inductors is as we have seen the inductor stores the magnetic field or simply the flux it tries to keep the current constant right no matter whatever input is there it will try to keep your current constant so the question is how inductor keeps the current constant and why we get lagging current through a inductor so if we are we are going to answer this questions uh in our next video so if you want to receive uh the next update you can simply go to our website then log in uh, that is on the www.theelectricalguy.in or you can simply find us on the facebook instagram or you can simply subscribe to our youtube channel so that you will be receiving our next update so guys thank you for watching keep watching keep learning